Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a makeup transformation of probably one of the most scariest characters I've ever done of Valak the demon from the new movie The Conjuring 2. I was obsessed with The Conjuring 1 and when I heard Conjuring 2 came out I had to go and see it. It was so amazing, definitely really scary. Says it's based on true stories and you encounter this demon named Valak who looks like a nun but a demonic corpse makeup nun who's in paintings and comes to life and it's just so scary. So let's see if we can turn ourselves into Valak. Putting my hair in a very low ponytail and then I'm going to put a wig cap on just to get my hair nice and flattened out of the way for when we put on the costume later. Now I'm going to flatten my eyebrows with a glue stick. You may know the drill, I put powder on in between a couple layers of glue stick because demons tend to not have eyebrows. My guess is that they have been burned off in the eternal flames of the most terrible place ever down there. You know what I'm talking about, H-E double hockey sticks. So once my eyebrows are all done, I'm going to fit my face for a fake nose. First I'm going to use a skin barrier because I have very sensitive skin and this makes it a lot easier to come off because I'm going to use the adhesive Telesis, but if you don't have Telesis because girl it's expensive, you could use Prosate instead to adhere this fake nose onto our face. Mine is used out of foam, you get one made out of any other product. Because Valak has a very huge, long, and slender nose. It's a lot different than mine, so I decided to paste a fake nose on my face. Once that prosthetic is glued on my face and in place and the seams are good, I'm going to get some liquid latex with a red sponge and stipple it down to my face. Meaning I'm making sure the edges blend nicely into my real skin. You may want to dry it with a hair dryer and powder it down. Before I stipple down another layer of adhesive called Prosade, I want this layer to have a barrier in between the foam prosthetic and the makeup I'm going to put on so it seals the nose nice and the makeup will stick to it better. If you want, you could do not one but two layers of Prosade on your nose. I'm going to get some midnight cream paint and put that on my eyebrow covers. You may want to use Pax paint or rubber mask grease paint on your prosthetic, but today, we are going to use Prosade as a barrier and then use some cream paint. Make sure it covers the entire nose and goes over the edges of the Prosade and liquid latex that we stippled on to the pliance all the way to our skin. Now if you want, you could continue using this Ben Nye cream paint all over your face in white or you could do what I'm going to do which is use aqua paint in white just because I think it blends onto the skin more and it blends nicely and color matches the color of this cream paint as well. For photographs and video, it just doesn't give as much of a white cast for me personally with my lighting. So if you don't want to mix so many different paints next to each other or together, you could definitely just stick with cream paint because it's a lot cheaper as well. With this white paint, you want to make sure that you do not color in the sockets of your eyes because we're going to put black paint there later. If you mix the two colors, it will turn out gray. And leave your lips completely bare as well because those are going to be black too. This is probably one of the most easiest makeups I've done in a while, yet at the same time it's kind of difficult and you turn out looking like a creepy masked person with all this white makeup on. Once the white makeup is totally down on your face, you want to set it with some translucent powder. And then we're going to get some matte black eyeshadow. This one's by Makeup Geek. You can use any black eyeshadow you want. And I'm just going to buff this into my face like in a contouring type way. On my forehead and on the sides of my cheekbones. On my chin and the sides of my fake nose as well. And near my eye sockets. I'm also going to get that black eyeshadow and put it on my cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to get this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and color in those lips that we left bare. You want it to kind of look like your lips have really bad frostbite and are about to fall off your face. Get that black eyeshadow with a very thin brush. This will make it look like it has a little cracked skull effect and doing details of like these cracked marks around the eyes and the face. I'm also using my fingers to smudge those lips like this demon's been chomping down on human souls and that's why his lipstick's getting smeared. It's like when you go to the Olive Garden and have that Italian salad and your lipstick just doesn't cooperate. See, I know that situation better. Getting the black matte eyeshadow and shadowing in around the sockets of those eyes. I am also going to get a black eyeliner pencil. This is the Rimmel London one that's my favorite for waterlines in black and 
blacken that waterline, that little skin that's so sensitive and it feels like you shouldn't be putting makeup there, but I do anyways. And most women seem to love to do this to make a cat eye or a smoky eye. But we're gonna do an intense smoky eye because we're getting the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil again and blackening in that area of the eye where we didn't put the white makeup. You may wanna leave your eyelids blank and not do this completely black like I'm doing if you want to paint on yellow eyes, but I'm gonna do a little trick with some contacts later. You want it to look like this demon's been punched in the eyes really hard and it just got so bruised it's completely black. You really want to study the Valak picture from the movie. There isn't that really many detailed pictures of this demon. From The Conjuring 2, you don't see this demon that much in the movie. You see the painting of it, but not the actual demon, like up close details of it. So girls, sometimes you just have to wing it and have fun. And then I'm just getting some matte black eyeshadow again and setting the black makeup that we did on those eye sockets and doing more blending details all over the face. What's great about this makeup is you can make it look as messy as you want because Valak doesn't have any distinct features. It's literally blobs of black on the eyes and the mouth on top of white makeup. Just doing more details with the black matte eyeshadow and contouring and making some shadow effects. Contouring that nose, girl. You want to make sure you have different contours on the face where it looks like Valak has like almost laugh lines, but they're not really laugh lines. They're lines where Valak was grinning after trying to terrify or kill someone. You may want to get some white cream paint and smear it over some black parts on the eye if you feel like you've made the black sockets of the eye too wide or too big for the white of the face. And once you think you're done with that makeup, you're going to get a nun costume. This is the only similar nun costume I could find. It's the costume of Mother Superior. I really wanted to try to go as true to the movie as I could. And Valak in the movie, under the nun costume, the hood of it is completely white. And this Mother Superior costume was completely black under it. So I put a white hoodie or you could put a white cape is what I did under it. And once the costume's all situated, you could put some special effects yellow contact lenses in, but like I said, if you don't have these, you could paint yellow ring circles on your eyelids. This just makes it so much more creepier and puts it so over the top. And you could totally be completely done with this makeup after putting in your eyes or painting them on, but I'm gonna go even further. I wish I had the teeth prosthetics of those spiky, bloody demon teeth that Valak had in the movie, but I don't. So I'm going to get some fake blood that's okay to have in my mouth. It won't kill me. And once your teeth are all bloody and juicy and good, you are completely done with this Valak from the movie The Conjuring 2 Makeup Transformation. This demon makeup was so fun. Probably one of the more easier ones of my makeup transformations. Scariest things I've done as well. This will haunt my nightmares even. And I absolutely was a huge fan of this movie, so I hope you guys enjoy it as well.